So you probably do know this because I've weirdly snuck some of her videos into year two playlist accidentally, actually, but leaving them in there because it's fun. I'm a huge fan of Bailey Sarian. She does this Monday thing where she does murder makeup mystery Monday, right? And she puts on her makeup and it's always fabulous makeup because I don't know how to do makeup. So that's not why I watch it. I just really like her and I love that she's always talking about like random murders and mysteries and things while she does it. And I was watching one with Mr. Soap and Clay because he gets into it too and he was like, you should just do that. Like not that literally, not talking about like murders or mysteries or putting on makeup, but just like make soap and talk about whatever's on your brain. And I'm like, don't I already do that? Apparently I'm doing it wrong. So... There's that. That actually doesn't have anything to do with the uh, with the pour, but I kind of feel like it has something to do with like the flow of the channel in general, right? Because, I don't know, I thought that that's already what I was doing while, you know, talking about soap also, but, you know, mostly just whatever is in my brain at whatever given moment. Um, I'm going to stop rambling about my brain and what's in it right now. Confusion is what's in it right now and um, I'm going to tell you all about what we are actually doing in just a minute but before I do hello I'm Mrs. Soap and Clay let's make stuff How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things, and you are here for day 69 of 365 days of soap, and we are doing the fourth bar in the Friends line today. We are doing Chandler. Now, specifically, Georgia May is tackling the Chandler bar, and uh, it's actually, <laughs> she sent through the footage, and she titled it Chanandler Bong, and I just got such a such a kick out of that for sure. That was hilarious. Now we are working with Nature's Garden for all of these scents because I actually had all these scents already in stock. So it's not any sort of like test with any of these, but today we are doing some sort of cherry thing because Chandler Bing, Bing Cherry, there was actually a line in one of the Friends episodes where they're like, Bing, cherry vanilla, right? And so yeah, his bar is scented with cherries and the soap apprentice wanted to play around with essentially getting like a sweater vest into the middle of the bar because, and also maybe some glycerin rivers to show like a, a wrinkly shirt. So we're gonna be working with that today. Let's go to her pour because true to soap apprentice fashion, it's a long one. So let's go talk about it there. Ah, my computer is processing really loud right now, and so I hope that's not going to come through in the audio. I don't know. Hey, we're doing Chandler today, you guys, or the Soprentices, rather, and uh, she's doing her little sculpting tool thingies, you know, DIY style with cardboard, because you can, and if you can, you do. Now, for this, uh, the Soprentices, I I'm sorry, I I'm giggling. I'm laughing because the footage that she sent, that she loaded up onto the drive is not labeled Chandler. It's labeled Chanandler Bong. And that's amazing <laughs> and awesome and just funny as hell. So I, I just noticed that as I was doing this voiceover actually, that I am doing an audio, a voiceover for a file named Chanandler Bong. And that is funny. So, yes. But yeah, for Chenandler Bong, the Soprentis decided that she wanted to do a sweater vest in the, in the pour. 
So she's also going to be playing around with some glycerin rivers. So it's two color, you know, one color of the, of the blue is for the vest part, the sweater vest part, and the other color is for the shirt underneath it. And she wanted to play with around the glycerin rivers a little bit to give it either the sweater or the shirt some texture, give like a wrinkly effect or a fabric, fabric effect, so that's fun. Now we have done videos on glycerin rivers, so if you are interested in that, I'll you know put an info card up and go check those out because there are ways to create and avoid glycerin rivers, and I personally like creating them because I think it's cool, and the added interest that it yields is you know awesome. Now you probably see those those little ducks up there. That's on purpose because. Chicken a duck, Chandler and Joey, chicken a duck. So you're going to assume then that Joey's is probably going to have a chick on it, right? She made those little duck ducks out of soap dough and they are adorable because everything the soap apprentice makes out of soap dough is always adorable as opposed to, you know, my attempts at making things out of soap dough and I end up making like a double peen instead of pin particles. So that's fun. I. I'm not so great at it. She's amazing though. And so that's cool. I have done, we've put up a lot of videos on soap dough and you know, we've done recipes, we've done, you know, little tutorials as like the process of her making them, but those videos never do very well when I, when I upload them. So, you know, I, I didn't show you the process of her actually making the ducks for this because Again, those videos tend not to do very well. And so what that tells me is you aren't interested in that sort of content. So why the hell would I continue giving you content that you're not interested in? So I didn't do it. But if you would like to see how she makes ducks, that video already exists. It's in year one. It's cool. I'll put up an info card for that too, maybe, if I remember. I should start writing this down as I'm talking. It's actually a good idea. Because I say that I'm going to do something and then like, I don't know, maybe 60% of the time I actually manage to get the info card in the right place in the video as I'm uploading it. You know, it's a lot. There, there's a lot of different pieces when it comes to putting up YouTube videos that I guess you don't really understand unless you are in that YouTube thing. So, you know, whatever. Oh, what is Chandler scented with? Oh no, she's putting in the scent and I don't remember what we decided to scent Chandler with. Oh no. Oh no, okay, I don't I don't remember. I don't remember. I'm going to look it up though. We're going to go to the pour and I'm going to look it up. So let's check out the pour while I do that. What did we do that? What did we do with that? I, oh, it's going to drive me nuts. Oh my god, what I don't remember what we scented this with. What? I'm drawing a blank. What is it? I'm trying to look it up. Uh, you might hear my, my little buttons going off. Oh, 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 yeah, I totally know now. I totally know. Yep, so we actually scented this with a cherry because, you know, Chandler Bing. Bing cherry. So we scented this with a Bing cherry fragrance thing from nature's garden let's see what exactly it is we used black cherry balm from nature's garden for this and that is this black cherry fragrance oil by nature's garden will literally burn your nose ha hairs out it's so strong we're obviously joking but it is that strong delightful black cherry aroma that is not too sickening sweet and it has max use in bath oil soaps and bath gels of five percent the soaping notes say perfect pour no rising no acceleration no separation no discoloration very strong now i have found that with nature's garden their soaping notes are always on point I've never had a single problem with Nature's Garden. If it says it's going to do something, bitch, it's going to do something. And it's, I, when they say it's strong, it's strong. So that's 
honestly, I went through a, a phase where I, where I was only only buying the ones, the scents that say really really strong scent retention. I, I I did that for like I don't know a year, and then I wanted to try more scents because I had exhausted the catalog. I have used literally all nature's garden scents that are safe to use in soaps at this point. It's ridiculous. But yeah, so very, very strong, which means Chandler Bing is going to smell very, very strong of like Bing, cherry, cherry vanilla. That's also a line from Friends. That's, that, that's the thing. Now, I think this is the part where she's playing around with glycerin rivers, which I think is why she didn't put all of the kale and clay, which is dispersed in water, into the entire batch and then separated out the colors. I think she's wanting to achieve some glycerin rivers in the shirt portion of this, as opposed to the sweater vest portion, which makes sense because then the shirt can look wrinkled and that's awesome. Which I found interesting when she said it and I'm like, oh yeah, cool, that sounds awesome. You know, like I'm not going to guide her pores unless she's really looking for direction and she's hit a wall with her creative outlet, which like never happens. With me, it happens all the damn time, like all the damn time. I'm like, I have no idea what I'm gonna do and she throws something out and I'm like, of course. That makes all the sense in the world. It's like with the Black Widow and the Hawkeye thing. Now that wasn't her. That was actually my brother because I was talking to him about it and I was just gonna do like an all black bar with a heart in the middle and then like an arrow on top. And he's like, no, 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 just do the Black Widow like sign, like the hourglass thing with an arrow going through that. And I'm like, oh, of course, that's much better. And so I did that. Point is, I always need help with the creativity and she very rarely does. But when she said wrinkly shirt, I don't remember Chandler's shirt ever being wrinkled. Is it? Is that just like some detail that I just missed on, on Chandler? Just in totality? I mean, it very well could be. It's been a hot minute since I've actually seen in the episodes, even though I've watched them so many times that they're just completely committed to memory. And I'm still like, those were my weird claims to fame when I was younger. I could recite three movies backwards and forwards and all of the Friends episodes. Like, just, just recite them. That's a really stupid claim to fame, by the way. So, I don't even know why I told you that. That's really lame. Anyway. So, yeah, I guess she's wanting to play with Glycerin Rivers within the shirt to make it look all wrinkly, which is, you know, it's cool. But even if it doesn't work, the sweater vest with a shirt, that's totally Chandler. So that's great. Now, she's not done with the sculpting. Like, she still has to do, like, the V for the sweater to make it look like a sweater. Really? So we're going to do that. And that's going to be, I mean, she's going to do that. I'm not doing this. I'm just watching. My favorite videos are the ones where I just get to watch, for sure. I would like a whole bunch of different soapers to just send me things, and I can just talk about their pores and comment on them and do the things, because then I just get to watch the enjoyable making process while, you know, just talking shit, really. I mean, not about them, like I would never just talk shit about them. That's not what I mean, that's not what I mean. I would never talk shit about a pore. Just, you know, the general weird things that I, I say, whatever. I'm going to stop talking now. Now, I do love what she's doing here in that she's kind of adding on to the sweater to give it the illusion of like a, a shoulder. This was something that I did not do in the Hulk bar when I was doing the V-neck thing for Hulk and Bruce Banner, right? But it sort of accidentally worked out anyway. And she's like intentionally do it, which is cool. I, I like that. I I like that she thought to do that, which is cool because I didn't, I didn't think to do that. And I guess she's gonna be filling this up with more of the rest of the uh, grayish blue and then everything goes on top. Yep, totally, absolutely. Chandler was my favorite character, I think across the board. Like I loved, Chandler in Friends. And so this whole thing, 
I think there are a lot of different things that you could do with Chandler, but this is perfect. Like, this was perfect. When she said the sweater vest, I'm like, yeah, that, that makes all of the sense in the world. Absolutely do that for sure. But yeah, he was great. He was, I don't know. They were all great in their own way. All of the characters were great in their own way. And like my entire personality came from these six characters, like a little bit of all of it, you know, like all of it. My love of food and my obsession with talking about food and eating. That's Joey. Yeah, that's that. That's the Joey in me. And my vanity comes from the Rachel. That's the Rachel in me. My OCD comes from Monica. I mean, obviously none of that actually comes from any of these people because they're fictional characters and I'm like a whole ass real human being. But you know, you know what I mean? But my dry, weird sense of humor, I guess, comes from Chandler. Like that's, that's that because he was that and he was funny. And I don't think any one of these characters, and I guess that was actually proven to be accurate, right? With the spinoff that they tried doing with Joey after this series ended, none of these characters can really stand on their own. They all, it was, it was an ensemble cast that all had to exist like together. And that totally makes sense. And I love shows like that. Like no one character is more important than the other. And they're all needed to create something very, very magical. It's kind of like life in the soap shop. Everyone is needed to create something magical. And the soap apprentice is needed to create magic like this. And that's gorgeous. Holy shit, I should have zoomed in for that. That's so pretty. I I love this. Yep, that's... It's just like a single color up there, but the way that she skewered it with the thickness of everything, she it totally worked. I didn't... I cut the part out where she did this cool little hack because she forgot that to put on her her lines to tell where the the ducks were going to go but she took a piece of paper that was measured out in 1 inch increments that she also put dots on and she put it on the side of the mold like vertically and then from that she was able to have her lines to put them actually on the paper to give her a guideline of where to put all of the the ducks. Unfortunately, she's not hitting any of those guidelines right now, but that's because she's actually putting these in at an angle because if it's a top-down filming, we're working off of the side, not directly in front. And so, you know, perception and it skews your, it's all a thing, it's all a thing, but you know, she'll fix it and figure it out and give it all a cut. And this will get put in the oven for seed pop and gel. We want those blues to remain blue. And we will, you know, cut it tomorrow. But of course, as you know, it's not tomorrow. It's right now. Next slide. And maybe an ad. Okay, and on to the cut of this beautiful bar of soap. So shiny. Look how shiny smooth that is. I love that. And I love how the colors really brightened up with all of that. Now, I didn't talk about it earlier when she was making the base of it, the sweater vest part. Uh-oh. What is she... I don't know what she's doing. Did she see a problem? Oh, there might be a problem. Might be a problem at the end. Oh, no. Now she can't decide where to pull. Oh, you're pulling from the side? That's so weird. You never do that. Wow. All right. Oh, that's so cute. That's totally a sweater vest. I love that. That is adorable. That is cute. Now, weirdly, I do not see any Glycerin Rivers in the bl the light blue portion, the shirt portion, but I super see Glycerin Rivers in the sweater vest portion. I was just talking about the sweater vest. She had the blue. She wanted it to be a little bit darker, put a little bit of activated charcoal in it. Works like a charm. But that's... Yeah, that's very interesting. Like, the, the Glycerin Rivers did end up in the sweater vest, and from what I can tell, not in the... not in the shirt part. But still super cute, because either way it works. Because sweater vests also have texture and movement. That's what she was doing when she put the, the cutter down. She noticed that some of the ducks were not quite whole. 
Honestly, though, I did not notice that when I saw these bars all fully cut up and just, you know, out there with the friends line. I did not notice that. So that's interesting that that ended up happening. And it's still totally cute and absolutely a duck. So that works. And she's just going to do some duck surgery. <laughs> Put them back together. Absolutely. Oh, those are such cute bars. I think that's perfect for Chandler. And the cherry bing scent. Yeah, no, that is that is the, the bing cherry. The black cherry bomb. Yeah, it's so strong. For sure. And just for those people who maybe haven't seen Friends because you're like living under a rock somewhere in the world. Because it was like a worldwide phenomenon. Um, oh no, that one completely got cut out. There you go. Just take it and put it back on. Totally. You can do the thing. It'll be great. Yeah, Chandler's last name is Bing. And then at some point they're talking about different flavors of things. And I think Joey is the one who says Bing, cherry vanilla, which was delightful. But Chandler Bing, Bing cherries. Oh, that's that was the that was the reasoning. And you know, look, she fixed the duck. Everything's fine. And those soaps are perfect. That is a day 69. Chandler Bong, aka Chandler, in the Friends line, and it's amazing, as is everything that the Soprentice does. And you know, I hope you guys had like a awesome time with all of that. I don't know if that's a chick or a duck. I really don't know. I am second guessing everything that I know about the world really on a daily basis, but you know, right now at this exact moment, but you know, chick or duck on top of the soaps and a really awesome soap. That sweater vest is perfect. She did such an amazing job for Chanan Lerbong for sure, and I love this so much. She does such cool things with everything that she ever makes, and so it's always so much fun watching her creative process play out, and I'm always here for that, for sure. If you are interested in any of the Friends bars, yeah, you can get them once we've done them all. So we've got a couple more, and then another fun thing that you're gonna love. It's gonna be awesome. For sure. Uh, you can find all kinds of other things at soapandclay.com and buy all kinds of other things. I mean limited stock on almost everything right now. We're having some some stock issues. But yeah, go over there, check it out, see what you can see. Yes, if you're interested in seeing what else we come up with for the friends line, like what we do for Joey and Phoebe and all that jazz, subscribe. Do that thing. That would be great. For those of you who are subscribed, hey Sudzers, you're great. Thank you so much for joining me. For another day of 365 days of soap, I'm out of here for two day. I will see you guys all again tomorrow for another round of soapy fun. Bye.